In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I believe to be just the best offense in Madden. This is so much fun to pass out of this offense. Now, if you're new to the channel, Cody here, and I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And uh, if you've never been to my channel before, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden players they can become. So if you want to get better at Madden, I post videos every day that can help you get better at both sides of the football. Now, in this video, we're talking about our Steelers 5 wide mini scheme out of the empty tray stack formation. This formation is a lot of fun. It really is. It's a lot of fun. I love to throw the ball. And if you want to become a better passer, the first piece of advice I give anybody is to run five wide. And the reason why I think it helps you so much is there's no get out of jail free cards. There's no tight end delay fades. There's no blocked running back. There's no max protect. There's none of that. It's you having to make, putting the pressure on you as a quarterback um, to be able to make reads. And so that's why I like it. It's a challenge. It's fun. And um, it's honestly super rewarding once you get it down. So, anyways, let's dive into the empty five wide out of the Steelers book. This is the empty tray stack. We've gone over a couple of plays from this. Um, I've talked about this before, but we want to be making sure that we are in the wide receivers three stack or the halfback stack package. I personally prefer um, the halfback stack package because I can sub in uh, an additional receiver out there. And in the past, we talked about curl switch. Today, we're going to be talking about really just my favorite madden passing concept of all time and that is the levels play um this is this is really the real reason why i personally prefer the steelers five wide you can run this five wide out of um, the bucks which has the empty bunch uh wide which is a really good set as well um but this is just a lot of fun so anyways let's do some over levels and if you have not already picked up my true fan membership i'd encourage you to do that uh what my true fan membership is is it's basically where i dump every uh, deep dive stuff that I'm working on. So it's updating you with everything. So it's got my full offense. Um, there's like a 50 minute breakdown of this offense in there for you right now, if you want to go get that. Um, and then it's also, uh, I talk defense, I talk uh, pro player breakdowns. So if you want to get a real deep dive into my head and my schemes, um, you can get that over at my Patreon or my true fan membership. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. It's five bucks a month. You cancel at any time and you get new content every single week um, with the most up-to-date offensive, defensive, and meta breakdowns in the community. So if you want to really stay on top of the meta and you also want to really learn Madden at a high level, I'd encourage you to get it. But uh, anyways, that's down in the description. Now, levels. Let's go over this play. So this play is awesome. You don't have to make a ton of adjustments. The one thing that I would tell you that I personally like to do, the biggest problem with levels um, at least as it pertains out of this uh, formation is what we do with this right this R1 guy. Um, this out route is fine and you can leave him on that, but you have to understand the rest of your concept. Um, and that's really, let's first focus on the two-man concept over here. This two-man concept is one of my favorite concepts in Madden. Um, basically, it's just a simple high-low. And if the, if, the, if the opportunity presents itself, and if you have Gunslinger, it's a lot easier to make that throw. It's really good against the blitz, but basically your first read um, on this play is as soon as possible, as soon as the ball is snapped, you're looking to throw that ball to square, right in that window right there every single time. Okay, that's what I was trying to do first time. Um, that is one of the real secret gems of this formation, in my opinion. You get this amazing snap throw to that side of the field. So what it does is it forces them to have to kind of cheat their user over into that little area on the field. Now what that does for your offense is now you're really putting a lot of stress on your their user to be able to stop the to, to be able to stop your route here. Now the next thing that I like to sh uh, to share with this is the backside three man concept. What do we want to do on the backside um, with three wide receivers? Really what we want to do is we want to stretch the defense vertically, but we also want to have something that we can check down to. And so what I personally like to do most is I actually like to run just a simple curl flat concept right there. So I put the R1 receiver on a flat and the circle receiver on a curl route. The reason I like that is because it allows me to really space the field and create a lot of room for this levels concept to really take an effect. Lastly, the one other thing I would recommend is if you take the square receiver and you just kind of baby motion him in, you'll see here it's just going to get him more inside and it's going to get him more into the zone. Um, so you have that quick snap throw. Now, this is where this uh, concept becomes a lot better than just, a, you know, kind of 
average levels concept. Um, let's say that their user is on this side of the field, okay? So if their user is on the, on the right side of the field and I'm running this, uh, what you're gonna see is this lineman is gonna drop right here. I can still throw that ball, okay? If I see that lineman drop off, I, as long as I have the window, okay? Mad at, most people don't understand passing. It's about windows. It looks covered, but there's a window to throw it. It looks covered, but there's a window to throw it. So if there's a window to throw it, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna trust the play and I'm gonna throw it. Now, um, let me just show you. So if I get him all the way down in here, just like this, get him really down deep. And let's say that guy hits on him. Then I can hit him later on in the play. Okay, so that's kind of the idea. The other thing that I wanted to talk about is this uh, curl flat read on the left. Now, I will tell you that most people in Madden are running their zone drops at 5, 25, and 5. I personally run uh, 30, 10, and 10. And the reason why I do that is mainly for this curl flat concept. If you take a look at this right here, you're going to see that they're all going to sit on the curl route, and then I can take the flat. The really big important piece of curl flat, please hear me loud and clear when I say this about the curl flat read. Curl flat is the best route combination in Madden year in and year out. It really is. It's a simple high-low curl to flat. Very simple. It forces the opponent to have to double flat. It forces the opponent to have to over adjust. Here's my point. Please, please hear me when I say this. When you're running this concept, please do not ignore the flat. If they are covering the curl, throw the flat and make them cover the, the flat. You have to hit them for 5 to 10 before you can hit them for 80 to, to 100 yard dot. Um, you just absolutely have to hit this flat. Um, another little trick that I like to use that is really, really good out of this formation for this concept is this right here. It's very simple. I'm just going to put him on a whip route, and I'm going to motion him in. And look at this right here. This route is going to get so much more space, and now I can run with the ball after the catch for about 7 to 8 yards. The other reason why I like this a lot is this is a really good concept for man-to-man -man now. Not only do I have a man beater on the right or on the left, but now with this motion whip route, watch that whip route. Just get outside, and I've got a good dot for about, again, 9 to 10 yards. 9 to 10 yards. If you are okay with understanding that you're going to have some 9 to 10 yard type of plays, this offense is definitely going to be for you. It's really, really good as long as you take the underneath and don't try to force the big play every time. That's one of my biggest mistakes um, in running this. But look at that. Look at that separation that you get on man coverage with a motion zig. And that's shaded outside and underneath coverage. The other thing that I can do against man-to-man -man, uh, real quick as we're going to talk about some man coverage is if I run that concept, that curl route, and so I love this motion zig inside curl. Um, the biggest thing with the curl route is you have to – and you saw right there, I threw it just a split second too late because of Tom Brady's passing arm. Um, Gunslinger is going to make it a lot more consistent for you. But if you if you don't have Gunslinger, it's fine. Um, you're just going to make sure passing inside, click on, make sure you catch that ball. You've got to click on, hit circle, click onto the guy, come back and make the play. Um, that's how you do that. Now, uh, let's talk a little bit about, let's say, for example, that they do something like this where you get this kind of just general Tampa 2 uh, look. The reason I like this is because watch, he's going to move that yellow inside. Now that yellow can't play outside, and now you can hit that curl route. So if they don't have a purple zone, they have to have either a seam flat zone or a purple zone. One last thing about the curl route really quickly. If you take a look at this, this is what I was talking about. Because I have to move, um, because the zone is coming from outside, uh, or from inside, it means that I have outside leverage. So if I wanted to, I could put that out route up there. And you'll see this out route really do a good job at getting separation, e even against a 10-yard curl flat or a 10-yard seam flat because of the motion, because we can pull that zone in and then throw outside. Um, one last thing about this real quick uh, with this cover three style uh, style look is I want you to watch what happens for the tight end in a cover three. We've talked about this route combination um, on a previous video on the channel, but if you watch against cover three, that tight end is always going to run vertical. He's always going to run vertical. So if you look at this, and there David made a great play um, with his lurker ability, but if you watch the corner on the right, the corner on the right is always going to bail. The reason the corner bails is because the um, 
the tight end is running a vertical stemming route. He's never gonna sit on the out route like he would if there was no tight end out. So you see here, if I can get it out there, and Brady's kind of screwing me right now, but if I can get that ball outside, there is a, a small window that I can hit. Now, I want to show you what happens if I just don't um, if I don't put the tight end on a route and I don't motion anyone. So I'm going to put the tight end on just a simple drag, and then I'm going to do that right there. And I want you to watch this out route. You're going to see how much better that corner covers. Look at that. That corner makes the play. The difference is the tight end route. The tight end divide route is so important in the levels concept because it opens up windows for your offense to be able to execute at a very high level. Your offense can now hit windows that it was not previously able to hit because of what he's gonna do to those deep zones. So now here, get him out, that's what we're looking for. And so if you wanna put an out route in with this concept, you certainly can. It's the same basic idea. Um, and also, and I think honestly, it will be a little bit better spacing. Now let's talk a little bit about Tampa 2 maple coverage version real quick. I just want to show one primary route here, um, and that's your tight end route. So against two high safeties or cover two, the tight end is going to become a vertical route, uh, or uh, not a vertical route, a post route. Other than that, he's going to streak. But you'll see here, he's going to post, and you can hit right in the, in, in the seams. Why I like this so much is because, number one, you're not going to get a ton of Tampa 2, I will admit. Um, I've been running this offense for a little while. I've not really gotten a ton of Tampa 2. I really haven't. I've faced mainly uh, cover three Mabel or um, like cover zero. You'll see cover four, see how he runs that tight end seam. And that seam is, a, is, is, is an interesting route. Um, it's actually really good against cover three. Let me show you one little thing with this real quick. Um, so if they're in cover three, what you'll see here is when I motion this guy in and I have something like that right there, right on the outside, um, watch this tight end route, okay? You're gonna see that he's gonna fade to the outside. I can, and Brady's gonna kill me here, but I can, you'll see there's a small, it's a late route, it's also a tight end. Please understand that. If you're in regs, that's not necessarily something that you wanna lead with. It's not your first read by any means. It's your, it's once everything's kind of go, you know, kind of gone down. So I'm just gonna block every, or um, kind of spy the rush off here. Uh, because I really want to show you what happens uh, to this this tight end route. So again, all I'm going to do is this right here. And you're going to see this corner on the right is going to get put in kind of a no man situation. You know, where he's not really playing anybody. Um, and you'll see here, I can pass lead this to the right, click on, and get over the top of that cover three. That's why I love that route so much. Because it, it really does work against everything. Um, another good reason why I like that route is let's say that your opponent goes with cover two. Uh, man real quick I just want you to watch the tight end and what I would recommend is smart routing him it's going to get him to go a little bit deeper on that cut but when he cuts inside on the post he'll typically be able to beat man right there um, the safety help did did actually uh, come in handy but if I run this five times I'll probably complete it for every, every five times right on the cut right there inside um, and, and, and again you got better route running whatever you're going to get this route um, it's not something, again, too high safety. So if they're in cover two man, that's where you're really going to primarily hit it. That's what we're looking for right there, a little low ball, low ball. And for whatever reason, Brady just can't get in the ball, but he's open. Um, and then let me show you one other thing. So let's say that they go with something like uh, Mike Blitz O, where you get this look right here. I just want you to watch this tight end route. Um, so man read, every time it's man, I love that he posts. Every time it's man coverage, the tight end is going to post. Huge point. Huge, hugely important in my opinion. Um, so if you get something like this out of man coverage, watch your tight end just get open right there on the cut against man. So you've got really four. Um, if we're talking about man coverage here. You've got three, four and almost five that'll beat man. Uh, the out route against man coverage, as long as you got good route running out there, he's gonna get outside release, throw the outside on the cut, and he beats man. So this is a very cohesive play that really puts a lot of stress on cover three. Um, it also puts stress on cover two. I would say the best chance they got at stopping this, the best chance they have at stopping this is something like this out of cover two, where they have really good underneath coverage and they have this the the, the 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 purple zone 
but you're still not going to be able if you're playing a traditional cover two um you know look at this route to triangle that's your check down so you've got options is what i'm getting at here um this play is a lot of fun to run you're gonna it's a simple play it's a it's a play that's designed to just get yardage um that's what we're trying to do we're just trying to get positive yardage with this play if you watch that tight end route i'm telling you um you see out of when they put that middle linebacker in the deep middle if there's a middle basically if there's a middle third on the field then they play to the inside he does a post route one little unfortunate thing in my opinion i wish he would post on cover two but he doesn't it's not the end of the world but what you're seeing that we get especially if they're in traditional tampa two where this guy is kind of the hybrid user um this is what i love so if they give you a look like that where the middle linebacker is really the last defense of the deep zone and they're usering him out of tampa two he's not in the deep third so watch the tight end's going to post so if they go to the the under route then he got the post over the top so uh anyways that's levels a lot of fun to run this offense if you want to learn the offense um make sure to get that true fan membership it's going to be going all mad 22 season long and we've got a lot of great material coming in that membership for you guys it's the best place to be early on everything too uh, as soon as i find something that i really like and really effective i typically release it to my true fans before i release it to anybody else so if you want to get a step ahead on the competition for man 22 i'd encourage you to sign up for that it's five bucks a month you can cancel it at any time and um, it's, it's really, I think, a great resource for you guys. So thanks for your time. And uh, one little thing about the True Fan membership is we will be adding a private Discord just for True Fan members. Okay, so you'll get access to a very private, very um, niche specific Discord that is super focused on high level Madden strategy and nothing else. So that's another perk of being a True Fan member. The Discord will be launching in Madden 22. Uh, as we get a little bit closer but if you want to get a jump start on everything with the videos the content over there i would encourage you to do so so thanks for your time and if you want to get that true fan membership it's down in the description for you